Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Mtech Viral and today we are going to talk about how to become a Google Developer Expert or a GDE. So let's talk about it. So I guess many of you have this doubt that how we can become a Google Developer Expert like me or anyone so um, there's there's like a lot of confusion about it so today I'm going to talk about what is a GD program how you can become a GD who can become a GD so let's talk about it so a GD or a Google developer expert program runs by Google to select some of the developers who are contributing heavily for one of their technologies it can be uh, Android angular flutter or any Google technology and they make them a Google developer expert so that they can represent that technology in their um, area they can share their expertise so that it can help the community and it can help uh, all those people who want to be part of that technology so that's a Google developer expert program so how you can become one of the Google developer experts and what are the benefits right so um, when you become a Google developer expert then obviously the benefits are like uh, you can talk with the Google team uh, of that particular technology then you also get a chance to visit uh, the GD summit which happens mostly in uh, United States of America in California or it can happen anywhere in the world and it happens uh, every year so um, you can go there and all the um, traveling and accommodation things will be managed by Google only so you don't have to worry about that apart from that you don't get any kind of money from Google for being a Google developer expert it's something which is like uh, which is just a tag so that people can uh, trust in you people can respect you and maybe people um, see you with a different eye you are the same person but uh, you know because of that tag and it, it, it means a lot actually it, it is kind of a responsibility which you have uh, gotten to uh, share with the community and uh, share your expertise with the community so um, if you want to be a GD then what you need to do right so um, what I will say that don't run behind becoming a GD but rather run behind sharing your content to as much as people as you can so it can be in form of anything if you are good at writing blogs then you should write blogs if you're good in making videos then you should make videos whether on youtube or anywhere and uh, if you can write some open source applications then you know open source contributions are uh, like uh, one of the best thing you can do and definitely google will um, see that and definitely will try to um, get in contact with you so um, the, the thing uh, that the process how you can become a GD is that let's say if you want if you are interested in becoming a GD for Android then you need to contact either a GDE or a Google person to nominate you so it starts with the nomination process and then you have to prepare a CV that what kind of contribution you have done in the community and it can be anything right and uh, then there will be a couple of interviews it will be most probably online but in case um, if it is if it can happen offline then also that's an option but most probably it happens online uh, via hangouts or something but uh, the key thing here is that uh, if you are already contributing somewhere uh, maybe github or anywhere uh, you maybe it can be video or something then you know you don't have to think about becoming a gd because uh, it's it's a tag which will come by itself right it's not like if you are doing these things to become a GD you are not doing those things to become a GD you are doing these things to help the community in growing and uh, that's that's you can say that uh, if you are becoming a GD then it's it's something which you are getting in the, uh, because of uh, you are are doing a lot of stuff in the community so it's it's something which which is not compulsory but if you are getting it then it's good but don't run behind in becoming a GD only run behind helping uh, people run behind helping the community in growing and uh, 
you know if you are doing all things uh, in a good manner in a good way for the good of the people then obviously you will get something in back and that's what i feel um i was not doing anything apart from contributing to community making open source apps making youtube uh, tutorials and one day google team contacted me that uh, do you want to um apply for becoming a gd so that's how it started and uh, it's like uh, don't uh, just uh, again i'm saying the same thing that uh, it's not about uh, becoming a gd it's about be helping the community and if you are helping our community you are already an expert so don't just run behind the tag uh, if you are uh, good enough and you feel like you know it 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 will give you an extra advantage to reach people then obviously you can try for it you can reach to any of the google developer expert or the google person and if they will see some uh, there is some spark in you if you are really doing a lot of stuff for the community then def they will definitely nominate you but uh, again this is something which you should not consider you should consider helping community and then everything will be a uh, will be positive i hope that uh, i helped you in uh, understanding what is gd what is the process of gd how you can become a gd so thank you so much for watching and uh, i am pavan from mtech viral i hope i helped you in answering those question which are in your mind from a long time thank you so much guys for joining bye bye take care and uh, keep contributing